see what elo are we wait what what i'm still plat one they're playing with 500 400 600 So now, after 35 games, the Unranked 2 Masters account is actually the account who has the best MMR? Or is it just because it's early in the morning, so they had to match me? With the with whoever was playing? What? I mean, we take it. Imagine if I do 2 0 in my promos, the LP gains after that. The LP gains would be so insane. She got entered by Kisus. Is Kisus in my team? Or Kikus? Bum, bum, bim, bum. No, not in my team. Nice. Okay, let's see. We need to focus when I'm like 400 LP ish game already. So, we have a Figus Lulu, which is a really good bot lane. We have Nila Pike, which is, I think, good for us because Nila wants to scale. But Pike wants to snowball and hard engage. When my both bot laners want to scale, kind of. Without kind of. So, I think it looks good for us. They manage to be safe early on. Oh, it's a nice matchup. Nice is super hard. Sup, Buzzy? How are you doing, mate? You don't have to call me coach, never coached you. But, uh, but I'm doing great. I am doing great. I'm on the Unranked 2 Masters. I'm 30 and 5. And I'm already in a 400 LP game. For some reason, when I'm still blood 1. Man, like I'm playing against this pretty Nasus. This guy is Challenger. What the fuck is he doing in my game? Guys, guys, guys. Uh... Wait, can't find chat. Guys, I swear, after 35 games on this account, I'm playing against Desperate Nasus. Desperate Nasus, his peak is like 1200 LP. Maybe even more with Nasus. And there's hard counter strained. I know, but you're still a coach. Yeah, true. Like if I saw if I saw Mourinho, I would I would call him coach. True, true. I mean, it's nice, but uh, but man, uh, like the the goal of Unranked to Masters was was to do an educational run where I show people how to win their games, but but they are not supposed to face desperate Nazis, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm playing against the champion Nazis, not the player. They have Poppy and Asus that both counter me and LeBlanc. They have three champions that counter me. So we have a really good four champions here. With these guys. But man. It's actually a pretty good Nasus game. Yeah. So against Nasus, your only way out is to abuse early. If you don't abuse early, you're fucked. You have to have actually two ways of doing it. 
look to push or let him push. He's gonna start E. He's gonna start E, get the 3 CS, he's gonna play Giga Save. And he has some armor, and once he has some armor, I just legit never kill him again. So this this matchup is actually so scary. You have to create a lead for yourself. Or force to. It's actually very easy if the jungler comes, but the jungler went um, top to bot, so it's not gonna play on my side. I could actually let it uh, push back to me from now. It's actually not freezing. Looks like it's freezing. But if we're patient enough, it's not. Yeah, I have the, the wave in the worst state possible. I'm gonna actually crush it now. But it's tragic. We lose a giga big wave. I feel us already died twice. Okay. The game is already not in my hands anymore. It's okay that the Philos gets it. Wait, what? He managed to... To hold the wave? Sort of. Maybe look to invade. What is that doing? Uh, go for camps, no? I guess I will do it myself. I don't know why I'm perma pushing against this Nazis. I don't know why, uh, why I'm doing that. Okay, finally. I have my uh, my bones. Yeah, I'm playing it really poorly. I don't know. I don't know why yet. Uh, I'm applying pressure to myself. Okay, now I have an item advantage and I have a good wave. Now is the moment that he is in a in a tough situation. Now we have to look to fix it. So he has to use TP now. He will use it by a ton of armor. It's gonna be very hard to prevent him from crashing. Yeah, so what I did wrong this game is 
Just not being patient, not letting the wave push into me. Try to have space to run him down. That was pretty bad on my end. And I didn't realize on my first base that he could just tank the, the minions and keep a freeze. So one thing against Nasus, one way to maybe win the matchup is to make him uh, waste mana. First, like what I'm doing here is pretty good. But man, this guy knows he's not using his W. Most Nasus would just use their W here. And he can only use it like four or five times before he gets um. already scaling me because I let him CS for free might be okay after his Q I can look Focus me so I will still get the cannon. Ah, guys, I'm getting outplay, outplayed this game. I know it looks like we're even, but you cannot afford to be even with the Nasus. Getting outspaced. Okay, maybe I can look now. I needed to press as late as possible. I need to press my ult as late as possible. And I tried to... But... I just waited his Q animation and I guess I guess I pressed it like uh, a little too late. Just a little. But I don't even think I care him. I should make him use his ult. Yeah, but uh, he did a lot of damage, but uh, I let him CS for free. Let him access the wave pretty. Really. And now it's pretty doomed. No, not this way. They have ult advantage, but he has ghost advantage. He can just W me and ghost out. What can I do? If I don't think I can kill him, I'll pop his playing perma bot side. Could look to deny camps. Nazis is gonna be really hard to manage. 
This game. I'm inting so much. I'm inting so much this game and I cannot hold up. Okay, I mean, yeah, you cannot. And I say it, I cannot hold up. And what do I try to do? Hold up. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, it's uh, 13 minutes. Who wins the next time they fight? With even items? Nasus all the time. I mean, maybe... Maybe before you get one item. Now, if you're even, Nasus wins it after level 6. I mean... Maybe a bit later on. But just Nasus wins it. Yeah, this game is lost. Might be. Um, guys, my biggest mistakes. First, I played against the player and not the champion. I was not like, okay, it's Nasus matchup. I was like, oh, I'm against Desperate Nasus. I actually used to be a Nasus main slash OTP. And I know this guy is the best on the server. And I really like him and what, what he does and how he plays. And so I got a bit intimidated, which should not happen. Like, who, who gives a fuck who he is? He cannot do more than his champ champion, right? So that's my biggest mistake. Then, Perma pushing into Nasus for some reason. When your only shot is uh, having the wave on your side. And then not listening to myself, I say I cannot hold, well, why do I try to hold then? And now my game is absolutely, like, uh, not playable. So, so I show you guys why I'm so afraid, look at this. See? <laughs> See the damage on 1Q? Yeah, at this point it's just doomed. Even if I had, imagine I have Kraken Slayer? Uh, what am I gonna do? Can I just do that? Is 1Q or treats? And I didn't press it. Is 1Q or trades 2 turret shots? At this point, and I'm not saying Nasus is broken or anything, it's just at this point, it's just doomed. And it's my for even FF, I don't know what I'm doing, it's I never FF and here I'm FFing. And and on the few timers where Zack was top and we can actually kill the Nasus, I, I had the wave pushed in also. So at least I can still teach you how to play the matchup. Don't do the shit that I just did. Do not do it. Don't perma push against Nasus. Try to have the wave on your side. You can even start doing that level 1. If you want. Like level 1, see how I eat in. I use my E in to him. Okay, now we can kill Rob. I mean, not me by myself, but... Man, I'm getting outplayed left and right. I use my old one, I think. I mean, he could look to kill me and then flash, rather than just flash out. So yeah, do not play against the players, guys. That's actually why I don't put the summoner names. There is Trindamir. Um, just play your matchup like it's supposed to be played. 
then uh, and then don't don't lose hope so here because minute one i was like um Minute one, I looked at champ select and I was like, if we don't, if we don't win early, if I don't win early, and and teams go even, the game is lost, and team went behind, and I just default to the game is lost. But again, it's not relevant information. I should just play my game, uh, and I feel embarrassed. I feel embarrassed putting out this kind of performance. I'm really embarrassed at myself. I am your worst oh, it's okay. I am learning my lesson. It happened too much actually when I got to GM and I got in challenger games. I started to look at the names too much. Rather than the champions was like, okay, who's the pro player in this game? Who's the streamer? And, and who gives a shit? I flashed to get the time to ult, but I didn't. Yeah, this is just embarrassing at this point. My team isn't even doing that bad. Okay, will my team have the damage at some point to kill the Nazis? I think maybe Victor can. This game wouldn't get for so Aphelios will have zero damage. Victor will be the way. Victor would be the way, if there is a way. But when there is a will, there is a way, right? That's the saying, no? Now he has the two items, he has Exodia. So I need to... Try to pin him on side, use superior mobility, not get dove. Wait for my team. Pray. Until it's... Just imagine someone put me on this chair and told me, okay, that's the state of the game. Try to do your best. But I feel like he can get this turret with two Qs. Cannot prevent him. The one thing that counters Nazus is you can dash walls and he can't. Got the second Q off. Yeah, but but yeah that's that's just how it goes at this point i mean at this point Your has been destroyed. it's okay it's part of the journey guys it is part of the journey Ah, so mad at myself. Won't happen again. Next time I face the guy. I will, uh, I will do my thing. I will do my thing. 
Okay, I'll just let him do his thingy. Yep. Is there a way out at this point? I think I, uh, I took from my team every possibility to win the game. I took it away. Let's pull out one last fight for the honors. damage okay well my bad guys uh it was uh it was pretty embarrassing i guess uh the mmr would go down now but uh just out of curiosity i wanted to check something Yeah, I guess the the I guess I got the taste of my own medicine. The Smurf got smurfed on. I was too much of a fanboy this game. Don't be fanboys, guys. Do not be fanboys. It's actually something that I talked about it to many players who get to higher elo for the first time. And and this this is a common phenomenon that you actually start playing against your quote-unquote idols or the people you look up to or pro players or I had this with Broxa playing like shit against like actually I, I like performed well but into not being in the mindset that I can carry this game because I'm playing against Broxa and he will know how to win it things like that I had that with, with many top laners and actually like probably that the I mean, I mean, so far for me, the only way I had to fix it is actually shit on them. Like I shit on uh, on Wow, I shit on uh, on uh, Kabochar, uh, I shit on uh, on Sh on um, Shemek, like some pretty really insane top laners. And then I was confident that it doesn't matter who he is, etc. But because I never shit on Desperate Nessus, I'm still like. This guy knows so much more than me, etc. Maybe I need that one game where I shit on him. I won't be shitting on him if I don't think that I can shit on him. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you learn your lesson, guys. It's okay to get shit on. It's okay to lose your game. I learned my lesson. Next time I'm going to wave first. I'm... Uh, I will try something against Nazis. Um You have two ways of playing it. You could push the first wave, let it bounce to you, etc. Or you could let it push from level 1 and try to go for level 2 or 3 all in. And because he uses E, and I use E as well, there is a chance that it actually pushes to me. And if it pushes to me, on cannon, on cannon wave, could be fucked. But here I decided to push because Zach went bot side, so I didn't have my my jungler with me. The thing is, I didn't crush it correctly for some reason, and then I was like, okay, let it bounce, and then I was like, okay, let's crash, and then I, I went and proxied a wave to get a to get a, an item advantage. But the thing is. Because he has sustain in his kit, he can just take the minions for forever, and and keep the freeze for the next wave. So after he had the freeze, again, even if he was behind in items, 
So when I finally managed to have him pushing in, I denied him a few CS. I, I took some decent trades, but at this point I got um, outspaced. That was my second. So wave management was my first issue. Uh, on, on simple things, it's not even that he did some insane tricks. It's like things that I, I am doing every game. I don't know why this game I wasn't able to do it. Then the spacing, where I need to be way more aware because his Q actually gives him range, if I'm not mistaken. I think his Q has a little more range than his auto attack. I need to keep that in mind and try to... Try to trade him in between his Qs, probably. And then... And then what happened? So then he comes back with an item advantage. Because I get out space, I got out traded and to let him crush the wave finally. And then I push again and I proxy again for some reason. When I proxy a wave, it means that he can stack it all for free. Like proxy against Naz is legit the worst thing to do. And uh, and at this point I was like, okay, I didn't take my shot of getting a lead early on. I remember I was like 80 CS to 70 CS. And I was like, I missed my shot. And then third problem came is the mental one. And I was like, okay, I lost it when I could just wait for another opportunity. Maybe Zach can come. And also I didn't press R on, on, the, on an all-in. Or I didn't have to all-in. Like he uses his ult. Maybe I can just step back a bit and, and all-in him on my next ult. Okay, I think I took my conclusions and I can't wait to play against him again. I want to play against him again. I want to, to learn, I want to train new things.